what is going on ladies and gentlemen it is Corey or Autobot and I'm here with the girlfriend Haley or Yella there yeah she, she's here say what's up girlfriend <laughs> the, ceiling's up. the ceiling's up but anyway we're here playing some World War 2 for you guys today and today's video guys I'm actually talking about some sniping tips for you guys with this game now you know a lot of people have their own little method of sniping and the first thing that I can tell you right now, for me, that worked, I mean, this may not work for you, but this is how I did it. I went and I instantly went to my Black Ops 3 sensitivity, which was 9. Because there's 14 sensitive levels in this game. And sniping actually feels a lot like Black Ops 3 in this game. It, it does. Uh, the M1903 here that I'm using actually feels like the SVG. But it's a little bit faster on the ADS, so it's a little bit harder to use than the SVG was in Black Ops 3. But it's still relatively decent to use. The Lee Enfield, or the Commonwealth as it was called in the beta, I find that, I find, what the fuck was that guy doing? I find that has more of a, a locus feel to it, a locus with thermal feel, the way the ADS rotation slows down when you use it. I mean, that's just my take on it. But, like I said guys, when it comes to your sensitivity, just instantly go to your Black Ops 3 sensitivity and try that because there is no aim assist in this game. But I mean, this game, in terms of sniping tips, well, that's the only thing I can tell you is for sensitivity-wise, is just go to your Black Ops 3 sensitivity and play around with it from there. Um, in terms of dragging, you can't really drag too much with this gun. It's more about centering with this gun. You can make minor adjustments with it, but you can't really drag too much. Um, and then when it comes to the car, that's more of a Locust-style snipe, so you can drag it a little bit. Same with the Lee Enfield. But in terms of guns itself as well, I think the M1903 is probably one of the better guns. The Car 98 is definitely the best, in my opinion, from what I've seen and what I've used in in the private matches and stuff like that, just to try to get a feel for it. Um, the Lee Enfield is probably the, the my third choice for weapon, but I mean, I'll probably end up using that more than I'll use my uh, more than I'll use this. I'm just using this just because I don't get hit markers with it. That's the only thing that really turns me away from the Lee Enfield is the hit markers. But, you know, it is what it is. You're not going to get a kill with every bullet with every gun. I mean, with this gun, you do pretty much every time. You pretty much get a kill every time, as long as you hit your target. I don't know how that one missed them, but anyway. We are breaking their backs, apparently. But, um... I mean, I'm just saying, sitting back right now because they're, they're pushing. That's another thing, guys, as well. In terms of your division, you're going to want to use... Um, you're actually going to want to use the mountain division unless you're using iron sight. That's just my two cents worth. And in terms of steadying as well, you actually don't have to steady all the time. Oh, I got, I got my first... This is my first glide bomb I've gotten since I started playing. Let's go. Boom. But, um, you know, there, there's a lot of... There's a lot of things that you guys can do. Um, like, But like I said, in terms of trying to find your shot, don't go and play online right away. Uh, do custom gameplay on bots. You know, go to the firing range. Do stuff like that. That'll be your... That'll be your best bet for uh, finding your shot. And, of course, guys... Uh, Work on centering as well, because the less you have to drag, the better. You can with the Lee Enfield. You can drag with the Lee Enfield, but that's about it. This this game isn't so much about the drag. It's more about the centering, which if you can center... I mean, you do have a little bit of leeway for some drag, but not like... You couldn't block Ops 3, where you could aim and then drag it right onto them while you're still scoping in, because... You know, when you're... Yeah. But, uh, you know, this, this game plays really, really well. Um, and also leading your shots. Like, lead your shots. Of course, like always. Because, I mean, you're not going to be able to hit your, sh hit your target if you're trying to ADS. Right where they're standing, if they're moving. You know, you have to try to anticipate your opponent's movements and get yourself there of course but um you know steadying your weapon doesn't really do a whole lot if you're trying to pop shot people as well just because you know it it 
you don't get the effect until the gun's actually up. I mean, it does help to some extent, but it doesn't help enough that it makes a huge difference. Another thing that you could do to improve your shot is actually use the, uh, the four times scope on the Lee Enfield. Oh man, that guy just... He's getting mad every time I kill him, too. Is that the guy that was calling you a bitch? The, uh... The raccoon? The raccoon. No, I missed him. Uh-oh. Guy pushing our spawn. Yeah, he did. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. I always appreciate it, guys. And if you guys have any questions in regards to sniping, drop a comment down below. I will drop I will reply to your comment with some with some more tips. But uh yeah, the girlfriend's link will be down in the description below. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so you guys get notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, guys, is there actually before I go, is there anything you want to say, girlfriend? No. No? Okay. Anyway, if you got like I said guys, it's your new boy Corey, your Autobot, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.